Hey there. In this GeoSnap, we're gonna go over how to create, manage, and utilize data views in ArcGIS Experience Builder apps you create. Let's take a look. Each layer has built-in views that you can select when configuring data sources for the widget. Default views contain all the features, selected features contains features selected at runtime, and then the data views are the ones you create. I could create a data view from within the widget's data connection options, but I'd like to show you how to create a data view from the data tab. Your data views are created using different filters, sort fields, and record limitations. And these are particularly useful if you have a large data set like we have here, and you wanna control what data is visible within certain widgets. So we're gonna use a simple expression, a clause set to limit which visitors are coming into specific sites after a certain date. Now that this data view has been created, it'll be available from within my table widgets data connection panel. Once my new data view is selected, the table widget will only display the filtered records I configured. I can add a little more complexity to the data view. In the case of my table widget, I want the records to display in a specific order. By selecting the gear icon, I'm brought back to the data views edit window and I can head over to the sort tab to choose a field and an arrangement to sort the data. Once I apply these changes, I'll be able to view the records in the table based off of when the next visitor is coming in. Finally, if I'd like to limit the number of records that will be shown within a widget, I can set up the maximum record count. I could set it to two and only show two records, but I don't need that for this case. 